the 2012 UK-Japan Young Scientist Workshop held at the University of Cambridge and the Keitsu Centre Cambridge saw school students from Britain and the Kyoto and Tohoku regions of Japan work together in small UK-Japan teams. The first one we did was in 2001 in Bristol and we've run these in Surrey University and in Cambridge and in Bristol and a number of universities in Japan. So the important thing which I can do is to know about radiation. Scientific literacy is the ability to understand scientific language and processes. First, what are nanoparticles in Japanese? Nano Ryushi. Young people like you uh, taking an interest in science and technology and becoming the engineers of the future is essential for world leading companies like Rolls Royce. All of us are living in a world that is uh, determined by the applications of science. Science is part of everyone's culture. We've got some fantastic projects. We've got a number of scientists across the, and engineers across the university who've actually volunteered their time and their effort. The students worked with a wide range of University of Cambridge scientists and engineers in explorations which have challenged them to work as teams and to think for themselves. Bioplastic from plants and... In toe-dipping the world of cutting-edge research and application, they have not only put school knowledge to real-life use, but also, by working together, have come to see themselves and their futures in a new global context, helping form international bonds of friendship. You have bridged a lot of things, not only about the cultural and language, but uh, shared a lot of knowledge and intelligence around your scientific areas and uh, exchanged expertise. The constraints of time meant that each team could only give the briefest account of all they had accomplished together. And we'd just like to say a really big thank you to Dr. Knapp, Becky, Jan, Nozomi and the researchers that came to talk to us for making it such a unique experience. And thank you for watching.